Florida's feud with the Walt Disney Company hitting a new tipping point. Governor Ron DeSantis signing a bill on Friday dismantling Disney's world, Disney World's self-governing status. This after Disney objected to a law prohibiting schools from teaching young kids about sexual orientation or gender identity. The governor also signing a new controversial congressional map for the state. CNN's Carlos Suarez is covering the developments for us from Miami. Carlos, uh, both of these new laws are expected to have major impacts on Floridians. That's exactly right, Frederica. Good morning. The governor of Florida, he wasted no time in signing several bills, uh, including two that target Disney, as well as that new congressional redistricting map that critics say diminishes the black vote in Florida. Now, the governor's map, the one that he designed, gives Republicans a chance at picking up four congressional seats later this year. Now, on Friday, a number of civil rights organizations, they filed a lawsuit saying that the new map violates the state constitution because, again, it diminishes the black vote in the state of Florida. Now, the legislature only took up this issue in a special session this week because the governor vetoed the map that they passed earlier this year. On the Disney side of things, the governor was able to get lawmakers to strip the company from being able to self-govern the land that Disney sits on in, in, in and around the Orlando area. Critics said that that move was in retaliation to Disney's criticism of Florida's don't say gay law. Now, one big question out here, a looming outstanding detail in all of this, is what happens to that special district's debt, which is being paid by Disney. Democratic lawmakers have said that that money would be passed on to taxpayers. The other bill that dealt with Disney did away with an exemption that the company had on people that might be suing big tech companies over censorship. Now, the governor, he was in South Florida on Friday to sign all of these measures into law, and he kept up his criticism of Disney. You're a corporation based in Burbank, California. And you're going to marshal your economic might to attack the parents of my state? Uh, we view that as a provocation, and we are going to fight back against that. All right, so the move to end Disney's special district doesn't go into effect until June of 2023, meaning there is some time for both sides to hammer out a new agreement, including just how the debt is going to be handled. The governor also signed another bill that deals with some new restrictions that are being put in place for businesses and schools when it comes to talking about the issues of race and gender. And for Drica, a lawsuit against that measure was also filed on Friday. All right, Carlos Suarez, thank you so much for that. All right, let's talk more about um, the Disney effect here. Here with us now, the tax collector for Orange County, Florida, uh, which encompasses most of the Disney World property, Scott Randolph. So good to see you. So th th this is pretty complicated. Thank you so much. Um, so this is pretty complicated, isn't it? I mean, this move to strip Disney of its special tax designation happened very quickly, but now we're learning it could shift a $163 million tax burden that the company pays for public services into local government. So how will Orange County make up for that? <laughs> well, that's a good question. I mean, look, uh -huh. normally I mean, Disney's a, a huge contributor to the Republican Party here in Florida. I mean, normally, uh, you know, if Tallahassee and Disney want to get into a fight, I would I would just sit back and you know pop some popcorn and and, and watch them go at it. But <laughs> now I represent 1.4 million people in Orange County that, like you said, may be stuck with a 163 million dollar a year tax bill. Uh, you know, and on, on day one when when that special taxing district gets dissolved, one side of the ledger is going to say zero, and the other side is going to say negative 163 million. And Orange County and Orange County residents are going to have to find a way to make that up. Do you think the governor overlooked that little detail? <laughs> well, that's what happens when you change, you know, a, a massive regulatory structure uh, in 72 hours. Mm -hmm. So help us understand what cost or services did Disney pick up with this self-governing status? Exactly. I think there's some misperception that like Disney gets a special tax break or they're not mm -hmm. paying their po property taxes. Disney pays the same property taxes that everybody else does in, in Orange County. They pay their school taxes. They paid $40 million a year to Orange County government last year. And then on top of that, they paid property taxes to that special district, Reedy Creek, in order to provide services around the Disney properties, like firefighting services, right? Every time somebody had a car accident or had a medical incident, think about the millions of people that visit Disney every year. 
um, road maintenance, uh, you know, flood control. They had their own power plant, uh, wastewater, drinking water facilities. All of that debt and obligation goes over to Orange County the minute that Reedy Creek is dissolved. There is no extra tax money that comes with that. So again, one side of the ledger will say zero, and the other side is going to say negative 163 million. So then two things, will the services residents of those areas, can they expect those services that you just outlined from fire to water, will those services change? And the second to that is how much more are they going to have to shell out in order to receive those services that Disney used to be paying for? Well, exactly. And, you know, and, and, and look, Orange, there, Orange County government only has a few cards to be able to play to make that money up, right? I mean, mm -hmm. they can't do a new taxing district because most of that land is in an incorporated part of the county. They can't, you know, do special taxes or special fees on Disney uh, to make that money up. So Orange County, you know, we have a great mayor, a great team over there. I'm sure they'll do everything they can. But at the end of the day, you know, again, it's going to be zero versus 163 million. So Orange County residents, I mean, if that gets passed along as property tax increases, mm -hmm. and you're probably looking at a 20 to 25 percent property tax increase for the average resident. Wow. Now, That's if you're huge. a business in Orange County, yeah, I mean, it could, you know, for the average resident, I mean, it could be 250, 300 dollars a year, every year. Remember, this is like an annual ongoing cost. Mm -hmm. Now that's just for a homeowner. You know, if you run a business here in Orange County, you could be looking at, at thousands of dollars. You know, the irony is, of course, is we also have Universal Parks and SeaWorld, and ironically, they could be paying tens of thousands of dollars more per year to pay off Disney debt. Interesting. And so let's talk a little bit more about that Disney outstanding, I mean, debt. It's pretty substantial, right? Um, somewhere around a billion dollars. Uh, how, how will that be absorbed into all this? <laughs> exactly. You know, I've seen anywhere from a billion to do to two billion. So I don't think anybody actually knows the actual amount. But right, it, it operates just like a municipal. I'm sure they they bonded out to build roads, to, to build the drinking water facility, to build you know fire stations, those type of things. You know, just typical government bonds. All that comes over to Orange County. So all all that is really known for for sure is they is it requires about 58 million dollars a year in bond payments. That's what they. Mm -hmm. That's what they collect in order to service that debt. So Orange County would immediately have to find $58 million a year in order just to service that debt. Uh, so so we just reported, uh, you know, we have, our, we, when I say we, or really mean Floridians, you have until what, June of 2023 um, to work out any potential new agreement that may have come as a result of the signing of this. What kind of changes do you see are likely to happen before this were to take effect, especially now that people may be hearing this for the first time in this conversation from you. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, again, Orange County's hands are pretty tied. There's only so many cards, they have just a few cards to play. So any changes that would come would have to come from Tallahassee. So, you know, Tallahassee, you know, just sort of gave, not relieved Disney County. of 160. Not, not really from Orange County. Again, Orange County's options are to try to find, you know, maybe some revenue from, you know, obviously selling water or to back to Disney or selling some power back to Disney. That's not going to cover 163 million, right? Mm -hmm. Their only other card is is property taxes, which they'd have to do across the board. So, you know, significant changes would have to come from Tallahassee, which is where all of this began at. So, right. will Tallahassee fix it? You know, and and yeah, the, the implementation dates a year away, but what has this done for the business climate, right? I mean, it, even if they undo this, I mean, f why, if you were a Fortune 500 company thinking about investing somewhere, would you come to a state that changed the regulatory structure uh, in, in a 72-hour time period? Mm -hmm. And so, Scott, I mean, I'm no psychologist, but I'm just detecting just in your occasional snickering. It's not that it's funny, but, I mean, it's almost like exasperation that I'm seeing from you. Is that right? Yeah, you know, and, and people... Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, I, again, it's like you, you can't make policy like this in 72 hours. And, and I'm not here to say maybe Reedy Creek had had outlived its usefulness. Maybe it need, mm. did need to go away. But you, but again, you need to look at the at the ledger that says zero on one side and negative 163 million before you start making these big changes like that. And mm. now you've stuck Orange County with really an impossible task uh, of making that money up. Ooh, and the last thing anybody wants to do right now is spend more money, right? Or get a bigger bill. 
for anything. It, it, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Scott. That's exactly Randolph. right. And Disney's yeah. talking. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. We got a I'm little sorry. delay, so I'm sorry. Disney I sometimes talking... step on you. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry. And Disney was talking about moving 2,000 more jobs here uh, from California. You know, I, I've mm. got to think Disney may you know reconsider that that initiative. Yeah, I bet a lot of rethinking is going on. All right, Scott Randolph, thank you so much.